Do you guys see what you do to me? Look at this. I'm getting beat up by Hilla Churls, and there's nothing I could do about it. Ayaka is dying because of you. Why is this here? Who did this? Raise your hand. Who's the one doing this? Now Kaching's about to die too. You want my characters to suffer? Is this what you enjoy? I'll tell you right now. Some people are gonna grow tired of the series if all we do is get exactly what we want every time. When I click on this, I better not see more of them pop up. My whole team has now died. I really don't know how to respond to this. Because in a previous video, I did already state that I don't think you guys should be spending money, especially on my account. But at the same time, then it feels like I'm not being grateful. But if I show a lot of gratitude, then I feel like it's going to encourage you to continue to do this. And you know the worst part of all of this? Pretty sure that's another hundred dollars. And well, I'm assuming they did that because of the weapon banner last time. If I keep pulling on the weapon banner right now though, it's not even guaranteed that we're gonna be getting the mist splitter. So while I know that the epitomized path does not carry over between weapon banners. I'm wondering if I should perhaps still hold on to the Genesis Crystals because we do have the new 4 star coming and then we also have a potential Kazuha rerun in the near future. But you know, we're up here. It's not the highest point in Inazuma, but it's a fairly high point and it is the Shogun's Palace. So I will do one temple on top of here just to see if maybe we can snag this right now and then whoever sent these in can be happy that, you know, we got what we wanted with it and we can just move on but that's not how pity works for me. I do not get five stars until we hit pity. So we're gonna go ahead and do one more temple here on the weapon banner and probably just get a nice four star for us, just like that. And it's another bell and, and a Favonius lance, but you know, that's not enough. A second bell. You know, what's funny. The Favonius sword is on this weapon banner. I mean, you wouldn't think it is, but if you look close, it is there. For some reason, I can't seem to get any of those though. You know what? I only logged on here to do my dailies anyways. And of course I was greeted with the Genesis crystals. So I had to press record. Before I just go back to doing my dailies and editing another video though, we're going to show this person why they should shouldn't spend on this account. Again, I don't want to sound like I'm ungrateful, but I'm just showing why you shouldn't do this. We are at some number of pity for this thing. We failed the last one. Great. I did not have quite a 10 pull left over when these Genesis crystals came in, but I'm not going to spend all of these. I'm going to leave myself with probably about a 10 pull, but I'll spend the rest on this banner. And when we get nothing or we get ourselves a second unforged, then that's kind of a sign, you know, maybe you should think twice before you spend end, right? Look, look at this. Ooh, two more things we can't use. All right, we'll do one more 10 pull and then we might just do some single pulls. Let's see, what do we get this time? Ooh, purple. Oh, look, wow. We actually got a Favonia sword. That's crazy. If we want to leave ourselves with one 10 pull left over, we can do four single pulls here. So we're going to go ahead and do exactly that. Question is, will we see a gold within those four single pulls? It's not looking good so far. Two wishes in and just blue three wishes in still blue and four wishes in we okay we do get gold here comes my second unforged let's go Hoyoverse, I'm trying to prove a point. You were supposed to give me the unforged, not the reforged. Oh, you know, you know what it is? Because I'm trying to prove the point of you don't want to spend. Hoyoverse says, no, we want you guys to spend in this game. Look, look, you can get what you want if you spend. No, bad Hoyoverse. So let me just say this quickly. Obviously, I appreciate whoever's doing this. They, if they want to support the channel, I understand that they want me to have more content, more fun, more characters and weapons. I appreciate that. But I do feel like some of the draw with this series is people don't know if I'm actually going to be able to get the things I'm going for. I know that for a lot of people, spending in games like this isn't really a viable option. So then when they see creators also just getting exactly what they want due to money being spent on the account, it becomes a bit less fun for them to watch. Because I mean, honestly, if I didn't make videos for this game, if I didn't have a YouTube channel or anything, and someone randomly sent me those crystals, well, first off, I'd probably think that it was a scam. But assuming that they were sent with good intentions and it wasn't a mistake, I would be ecstatic. But in my current situation, I almost feel bad. I'm not going to keep going on about this though. All I'll say is thank you to whoever went out of their way to try and give us more content and characters on the account or to multiple people if it was multiple people. But now that you have done that, maybe, you know, put the 
wallet away for now? Actually, how about this? Instead of spending more money on my account, hear me out here. You just, you, you scroll down a little bit. There's a little button there that looks like a thumbs up. I believe people refer to this as a like button. You just, you just give that a nice little tap. Putting all of that aside, we do have some things we need to take care of. I would like to take care of Zhongli's story quest so that we can actually fight as Daha. Funnily enough, that will be the first time I've ever actually unlocked as Daha because I've never had a character on any account that needed its drops. And well, I saw a comment on the last video and the comment told me to go and put the Black Cliff on Ayaka right now. So obviously I have to listen. It's a YouTube comment. I have to listen to it. But now you see Kaching only has a three star weapon and we can't have that. So we're just going to have to give this to her now. And um, that's unfortunate. Everything about what I'm seeing right now screams pay to win. It's a five star character with a five star weapon wearing an outfit that you only get by spending money. I just logged back in and it's come to my attention that they extended the Ayaka banner to 240 more days. And the same goes for the weapon banner. Don't worry guys, for the next six months, you can save up for Ayaka. Of course, I know that's probably just a date that they put in randomly for now just to hold them over because they don't know exactly how long it's going to take them to do everything for the next update. But I thought it was so funny when I logged in and saw 240 days on a banner. Oh, it is Thursday technically, but in game that resets at five in the morning for me. So I have to wait two more hours before I can actually start farming. You know what I just realized? This little sword here needs a certain little material. And if you remember, we also have another character who kind of needs that material. And then she also needs even more of that material. Oh boy. Well, putting that aside for a moment, we are able to now enter this domain. So while I go through and spend my condensed resin in here, I have something to show you guys. Look at this character. Look at this character. Now, look at this character. What do they all have in common? I'll give you five seconds to decide. Yeah, okay, we don't have time for this. It's hair. They all have hair. But those luxurious locks don't always last forever. Perhaps for these characters, they do, well, with the exception of Albedo. But for the player controlling these characters, aka you, that's not always the case, sadly. In fact, two out of three men will experience some form of pattern baldness by the time they're 35. Considering I always lose my 50-50s in Genshin, I don't like those odds. But luckily, Keeps helps you stop hair loss before before it's too late. Keeps offers their scientific and affordable approach to treatments that are up to 90% effective at reducing and stopping further hair loss. Best of all, you don't even need to touch grass to get it. For about half the cost of similar treatments at a pharmacy, Keeps will deliver their doctor-recommended treatment plan straight to your door. Hair loss stops with Keeps, so to get 50% off your first order, head on over to keeps.com slash javathecup, or click the link in the description. That's k-e-e-p-s dot com slash Java the Cup. Big thanks to Keeps for sponsoring this video. All right, so this should be our last condensed resin we can use right now. Maybe we'll get lucky and actually get a decent amount of stuff from here. Oh, that's a good one. In one of my runs, I didn't get any of the purples or golds. I just had blues and greens, even though it was condensed. That made me very sad. Now, I'm definitely not going to have enough of these other items to fully ascend this, but let's just see how high we can take the sword because the higher we bring this weapon, the more damage we're going to do, obviously. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm the first one to discover that. Leveling up your weapon makes it do more damage, who would have thought? We're kind of running out of materials already. Alright, guess we gotta do a little bit of farming. I also did just realize that the drops we're gonna need for this sword, more specifically these, are most easily farmed on this island. Once you clear out that quest, there's a whole ton of them that spawn in the center. And as you could see from my map there, there's a little issue with that. We kind of haven't done that quest. That's at least enough to level this up one more time, so we'll go ahead and do that right now, and then we'll boost it up to level 60 and see how much we need. These are such a pain to get. I know some people have also said they want to see me try the Spiral Abyss again. We just did it not that long ago, and I know we've gotten more characters since, but we really haven't leveled anyone 
one that much sense. So I don't think we're going to take that on in this video, but maybe in the next sword only we could try it. The biggest problem is that we do not have artifacts for anyone. Every character is just running with whatever we've gotten. Now, luckily, we can take out a few of these things here. I guess I need to decide what our plan is, because we can either go do Zhongli's story to start working towards being able to level up Ayaka, or maybe we start going towards that island that has the Thunder Manifestation, because then we can fully level up this sword a lot easier. I'm hoping there's more Ruined Sentinels down here, but I don't know that there are. Yeah, there are no more down there. Alright, Watatsumi Island, let's hope that you have a decent amount of these. Oh no, look, there's a there's an Electroculus up there. Oh, that's unfortunate. There must be some puzzle that we have to solve to get to it. That really sucks. It'd be a shame if I just... Okay, never mind. <clears throat> oh look, there's an Electroculus up there. There must be some sort of puzzle that we have to do to get to it. But it would be such a shame if I just had characters that allowed me to get it. Okay, okay, but this time, you see, the difference is this time, I'm actually gonna get it. It's gonna be kinda crazy, I know. Okay, new plan. All right, we took a little trip back to Liyue. So now what we do, we put this here, right? We climb it. We put this, I said we put this here. Oh, well, that's a problem. I really thought that you could put stuff on top of this, but I guess you can't. Am I missing something? These two are facing this way. That one's facing this way. That one's facing this way. And that one's facing this way. Why is this not activating? Oh, wait, it did. It half activated because this rock is supposed to form so that you can more easily... Okay, no, wait. I'm just stupid. I'm just stupid. That's all there is. There we go. Nice and easy. Well, I took out all of them that were on Watatsumi, which was a whole four. Now, I probably can craft up the last two that we need, so that's not that big of a problem, but we're still gonna have to ascend it beyond that. And now our new limiting factor are the handguards. <gasps> oh, I can finally put... I Ayaka to use. Okay, let's try that again. Ayaka, become useful. Oh, we can finally just run across water again. Wait, hold on. Look, what was that? What was that? Why didn't the book tell me about this one, huh? Oh, I did see a comment on the last video saying, why are you using the interactive map when you can just use the little book up here to find all the enemies? It's because of stuff like this. That book does not actually show you all the locations for said enemies. It shows you some or maybe most of them, but if you actually want to see where they all are, you have to go on the interactive map. I don't know why they don't just show you all of them in game. They just want to make it more difficult for you. At this at this point, most of these samurai enemies are respawning, or more specifically, they're in the cooldown for respawning, and both Kaching's weapon and Ayaka only need these and higher now, so I'm just gonna kinda craft a bunch of these up. We'll do like 32, I think that that's decent enough for now, and we'll get four bonus, thank you very much Sucrose. Then we need two more of these, which I can actually craft a decent amount of, so we'll have to see what we want to do about those. And now, Mist Splitter gets to be ascended another time. It's now level 70. Pretty nice. And we could craft up the rest of this. I actually don't know that we can craft it up, but we're gonna try to. No, we cannot. Alright, we're just gonna go farm that thing again. So we need five more of these. I can craft four. Four, so I'm hoping I can get at least one more of these without having to spend fragile resin. Give me that nice white and blue coral. That's all I need. Just one of those. Thank you. Okay, we're good. I guess I also could have just crafted it first and waited to see if I got a bonus because I wouldn't have even had to spend resin there. But who cares? Oh well, too bad. We now have this thing at level 80. And yeah, um, this is gonna take a while to get. But I think Kaching is okay for now. She still needs a ton of attention, don't get me wrong, but Ayaka needs even more more attention right now. We're now gonna try to get through Zhongli's story quest so that we can actually get materials to level up Ayaka's talents. You see, normally going to the spot they want me to go to is a really big pain. The Pearl Galley is not an easy spot to get to, you either have to fly or swim. But luckily for us, we don't have to do either anymore. All we have to do is a bit of this and then a bit of this. We could do a little bit of that, a little bit of attacking just to extend this out even more, fall into the water 
water and then have to swim, run out of stamina and have to start all over. Good times. I know you can infinitely be on the water with Ayaka, I just have to actually get used to doing it. So like right about here, we can stop. We can, why am I so bad at that? Why am I actually so bad at that? I hate to say it, but this is the fourth time I've had to teleport back here from running out of stamina while going across the water. I think Ayaka just likes getting her socks wet too much. So rather than actually freezing the water and standing on it, she just wants to submerge herself in it. That's my running theory. Let's try this again. We're going to stop. We're going to use this, right? And then we could do a little bit of that. And then we can start going again. And then we can stop and do that. She almost flings herself off of the ice, just getting out of her dash. Okay. I'm getting a little bit better at it. As I say, right before I fall back in the water, I'm sure. But look, 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 I'm staying on the surface. Look out. Why do I even bother talking? Ayaka, please make it. Please do not make me go back for the fifth time. Oh no, 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 don't you dare. Don't you dare. Fifth time's the charm, right? I'm just testing this out. If you dash across water and then take your hand completely off the keyboard, she stands on it, right? That's cool. But let's just keep doing the same exact thing. So this, don't touch anything. We stand on it, nice. Third time, boop, on it. Fourth time, oh, we just get pushed straight into the water. Interesting. Maybe the key is just doing this instead because then uh, there's at least always ice. Nope, that's not the key. How do you actually always stay on the ice? Ooh, a jongli. I'm good. You know I'm actually doing something unheard of right now? I'm actually reading the dialogue in this story quest. And do you know why? Because I'm not being forced to do this entire story quest at the last second of an event. For the most part, I can take my time. The only thing that is rushing me along a bit is the fact that I have to get a video up. <gasps> is that the salt sword? It is. Oh, can I have it, please? Oh, there's a chest back there. Okay, so it seems like the, the god of salt here. I don't think that's related to Azdaha. There are so many different ways to pronounce that. There's Azdaha, 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 Azdehe, Azdeha. Zhongli, why are you making me come all the way up here? Very rude of you. Oh, wait. Is this the lore of the world? Is this how the ocean became salt water? They just threw an infinite supply of salt into the ocean. Well, uh, part one is complete, which means in order to actually go ahead and get the boss, we have to do part two. So it's a good thing I never spend all of the keys. I didn't know that ores acted as CCTV cameras in this game. Oh, well, I, I think we made it. We found the Chonky Boy. Get this Zhongli off my team. I have fought this boss once. And Al Albedo, can you please just, just put that thing down? Thank you. Yeah, I fought the... Oh, it's gone already. Cool. One time. I fought this thing once. So I know it like changes its element and stuff. And it's very tanky. And it just demolishes your health bar. And I do not have a healer. So, should be a really fun time. Wait a minute. Was I just lucky that Kaching lived? on one HP there? Or is it scripted that we can't lose? Ayaka, you are the least valuable right now. You will be my test dummy. Take a hit. Let's see. Yeah, we're invulnerable. Uh-oh. Looks like I win. I've already won, Mr. Ezdaha. You just don't know it yet. Gosh, I suddenly feel like the anime protagonists in absolutely every show where they're already overpowered. Oh, wait. Huh? Wait, how, how did we die? How did Kaching go down there? I am quite confused. Yeah, if we had Bennett in here, this would be a lot safer, but um, well, we don't, so yeah, that's gonna keep happening. This is going extremely well, don't worry. We almost took it out. It's almost dead. My team, perfectly healthy, don't worry about it. And also, I'm just not gonna do anything right now because this would be cheating. So sorry, Zhongli, but you're just gonna have to take these attacks. Excuse me, Azdaha, uh, could you, could you just take out Zhongli for me, real quick, please? Thank you very much. Okay, time for round two. I like how it warns me that my party is too low leveled for this, but I really don't have a choice. All right, let's see if we can do it this time. Jeez, this thing hurts. So far, it's going a lot better than last time because we have Bennett here. Although Albedo is essentially useless because you can't put the flower anywhere near the boss. And even if you get it close enough where the boss is in range, one attack and that thing is just gone. Oh, really? Really? You're going to live on one, huh? No, thank you very much. Well, we took it down, which is, you know, good. And I don't want to know how many times 
since we're going to have to take it down again because Ayaka's talents require a lot of it. Okay, so we unlock this domain and that is the drop we're gonna have to farm a ton of. There is just not enough resin given to us for how much we are going to need. Oh, you know what we could do? I might not be able to farm artifacts right now, but I'm sure we can make some strong boxes and potentially get something usable. Of course, we won't really be able to level it up, so that's also an issue, but maybe, maybe we can get something half decent. All right, the first batch is up and we still have a lot. Oh my gosh, we have so much to go. All right, can we get anything decent? Let's see. Only one goblet and it's defense percent. No, thank you. This one could be decent. I don't really want energy recharge as the main stat, but you know, sometimes it's nice to have. And that's the only one worth keeping. All right, <laughs> round two is already here. Give me something juicy. Give me something juice, juice. Oh, cryo damage. I do like cryo damage. I don't really like the stats here though. Everything else is bad. Okay, cool. All right, round three. Here we go. Going through so many artifacts here. The, oh, that hurts. I mean, I, I guess. What, like off piece for Albedo? I don't know. Oh, look, another potential off piece for Albedo. And uh, another potential off piece? What's with all the good crit substats but being on a main defense percent? I feel like I have to keep this because it's a viridescent with elemental mastery. So you just have to keep that unless you get a better one. I've lost track of what number we're on now. Come on, give me something juice. Look at all these feathers have potential. Feathers are so easy to get good stats on. They're so incredible. Okay, maybe not that easy. Again, again, defense percent with crit. Oh, look, what's that? Defense percent with crit? Whoa, that's cool. You know what's funny is we only have 39 slots available here and that was exactly enough to put in everything that I wanted to put in. Okay, the feather has potential. Feathers and flowers you can be so greedy with because they are the easiest one to get decent ones of. Crit rate, if it rolls crit damage, we'll keep it. And another defense percent with both crits. We're getting down to the last few that we can do. All right, here's our last one. Can we get a good artifact? No. Well, I am not going to sit here and say this is a good build for Ayaka. I kind of just took artifacts that we had on Kaya and then slapped on some unleveled ones, but you know, it's 2,000 attack and oh, uh, definitely a 1 to 2 crit ratio. Unfortunately, I'm kind of just waiting on resin. 